Hi guys, this is Fenchy and today we're gonna see my five favorite tools that I love in DaVinci Resolve. I love to use them because it made me more efficient in my work and also it made me more creative in my color grading for my clients. Before we jump to the tutorials, subscribe to the channel if you want more content on color grading and follow me on Instagram if you want to see what my work looks like uh, as a work but also uh, in my daily life as a colorist okay let's jump right in so here we are guys in our timeline and the first tool i want to show you that i love is composite mode for those of you that already follow me you know how i enjoy grading with composite mode so i'm just gonna quickly show like uh, what's the effect of composite mode on your grade uh, but if you want to have more specific composite mode tutorial you can just like, go through my channel and there's a bunch that are really valuable let's say i want to add another lot after my uh, two lots that are osaka and budapest like for example i want to add i don't know um the let's say the cebu lot like let, let's just go like very crazy so I have the Cebu lot here, but I find it very crazy uh, in terms of colors and in terms of contrast. But let's say I only want out of this lot the colors. So what I can do is just uh, right click, go to a uh, composite mode. And uh, when I'm in my composite mode, I can just go to color. And when I go to color, I will only have the characteristics of the color out of my lots without the contrast of it and um, it permits me then just like to have a layer of my colors uh, over my other lots for example and which is nice and i can just regulate it with the key output the contrast is not affected but let's say i only want the contrast out of my lot i can then reverse my logic and say like okay i don't want the color i only want the contrast so i go to luminosity and i will only have the contrast of my lot if you see and i can just regulate the contrast of my lot so this is why it's very powerful okay so second tool that i love and i think that is not talked about too much uh in the sphere of uh, the colorist on youtube is actually the extended steel gallery so i'm going to show you uh why uh, it's pretty fun uh, and i'm going to show you this with this uh, image as an example so for this to go to the extended steel gallery you can just go to your gallery and you can go to this button where uh, you have an extended uh, sign so when i extend i will straight away go uh, to my uh, steel gallery so you can have some da vinci resolve looks but uh, what is interesting for me is going to my database so we go to my database so let's say i have a project where i think my looks gonna fit very well my footage that i have here and i forgot to save a power grade so what i can do is actually instead of leaving my project to go to another project to actually save uh, a power grade of my steel and then uh, after use it in my power grade gallery here what i can do is just like going to my database i will go to my guest database and i will take the project that i've worked on before like here this is the real me project and what i want are the steels that I have been approved so I can go to my approved grade and uh, after what I can do is that I can also preview what it's doing on my footage which I really like the result and uh, I can either drop it drag and drop it here or I can drop it uh, in my steel gallery for my project and so when I drop it in my steel gallery for my project, my steel appear in my steel gallery here. And so either I can just drop the whole look or I can do something else, which is my third favorite tool, which is actually display node graph. So you're going to go to your steel and you're going to right click and you're going to go to display node graph. In display node graph, I will have access 
to the node tree I have done on the steel and uh, I can choose which node I want to add on my current node tree. What is fun then coupled with the extended gal steel gallery is that you can take old steels that you have done, that you have worked on and just display the nodes that you have worked on on your past project and just pick and choose the nodes that you want in your new project which then I find it very cool because I don't have to reinvent the wheel and let's say like for this project of course because uh, it was a project uh, that I've done and it wasn't for YouTube it was for a brand I haven't labeled my nodes but uh, don't worry I know uh, what I've done in my mess but uh, in this project, I want to keep uh, the Dehancer plugin that I used. And so what I can do is just that I can take my Dehancer plugin and I'm just going to add it at the end of my node tree of my current node tree. I can just drag and drop and I have my Dehancer plugin. I have all the parameters that I had in my project uh, for this project over here. So this one is a pretty good one. The fourth tool that I really love out of DaVinci Resolve is actually like, let's just take this uh, as an example, is actually having a vignette. So you can make a vignette like this, but for your power window, you can change actually your power window to Bezier. And so when you convert to Bezier, that basically say to DaVinci Resolve that uh, you want to change the shape of um, this circle. So I can just like extend my circle and or uh, shrink my, sh my circle like this and really create a shape that I want with actually the rounding that you can have out of the uh, power window, which could be a bit uh, tedious to do if you use the curve tool uh, out of uh, the window tool. So I can just reshape everything and say like, okay, uh, I just want to have that face like this. And uh, what I can do after I can soften everything. So then it looks natural and after I can just show you and we have the shape that we have done and I can really customize uh, what I want with this power window. And the last tool that actually I want to show you is the color trace. So the color trace is also a tool that I use a lot because uh, when I'm on commercials, when I'm grading commercials, I often have cut downs to grade with it. So most of the time, the cut downs will not respect the same in and out point. Will also not respect the same order of shots in the cut downs. So that's why um, it can be very tedious to just copy and paste over your grade. And with color trace, you don't have to do this. So for example, I will just go to my edit page to uh, use this tool. So I have my main timeline that you can see. So I have this one, this one, this one, this one. And so when I play it, it's like this. Okay, okay, okay. And so um, when I go to my cut down timeline, you can see that the order is not the same and the in and out point is not the same and also it's not graded. So what I can do is uh, going to my uh, timeline folder. So if you see, this is all my footage and I have a timeline folder where I tidied everything. So I can just right click on my cut down timeline and uh, I will go to timelines and I will go to color trace. So I will also choose color trace from timeline because I want my color trace to follow the grade that I've done in my main timeline. So I can just open it and you can see that I have access to all the projects in my database. I will try to find my timeline in my project that is called YouTube and I will just refer this one as a main. So I want DaVinci Resolve to copy paste my main timeline to my cut down timeline. So I will continue. And if you can see, 
I will have DaVinci Resolve that will uh, show me the shots that he thinks that um, are in my cut downs in green. So then like you can see, uh, I have the grade of the main timeline and I have the shot of my cut down and uh, everything is fine. And here like uh, DaVinci didn't find well the grade. So that's okay. It can happen, but uh, that's okay. We can uh, just copy grade and exit. And I'm just going to uh, double click on my cut down and you can see that I have my footages instead of this one. So this one, we're just going to go to my main and we're just going to grab a steel and go to cut down and just like put my cut down and here we are. So yeah, that's all for me guys. I hope it helped and I hope you like the tutorials and you like the tool that I use and that makes me more efficient. And uh, I see you for the next video. See you guys.